Hey, hey Daria, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just writing a script. Hi everyone, I'm Daria and this is the Mavave Vlog, your go-to channel for creating cool videos. Did you know that a lot of YouTubers, including us, write scripts for their videos before shooting them? The shooting process will go a lot smoother if you think over the structure of the video beforehand. Make a list of locations you'll need and write the text for the host. You won't believe how much time and nerves writing scripts has saved us. When beginner video makers sit down to write a script for the first time, they usually don't know where to start or how to structure their text. In today's episode, we want to reveal a few professional secrets and show you how we write scripts for our videos. Let's start with the structure. It is better to use the classic three-part structure for your scripts. In our case, it includes the following parts. Introduction, where we get the viewers acquainted with the main topic. The meat of the video, where we discuss this topic. Conclusion, where we sum up the results. Sounds quite easy, right? The best thing about this structure is that you won't get lost in it, there are only three logically connected parts. It'll be easy for you to communicate your message and for your viewers to understand you. Sometimes we insert an additional part in the very beginning of the video. The hook. It might be a provocative line from the host. Sex, drugs, alcohol, violence. There are a bunch of controversial topics that we're going to be touching on today. Intriguing backstage scenes. Or an example that we filmed to illustrate the topic of the episode. Why do we use the hook? To catch your eye and, of course, to make you want to continue watching our video. The first seconds of a YouTube video are precious, so you should get the viewer interested from the very beginning. Otherwise, they might just as well switch to someone else's videos. Here is a couple of tips on the introduction and conclusion. Tip number one. Develop a unified manner in which you start and finish your videos. In this case, your viewers will associate some particular catchphrases with your channel. For example, the introduction is perfect for your signature greeting. Hello, everybody. Welcome to PewDiePie. Oh, what in the world, you guys? It's movie fights. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game Theory! The conclusion suits well to remind the viewer to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel, and to say your signature goodbye, of course. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom! Tip number two, if you can, create a memorable opener for your videos, like the one we have, or like the one some other guys have. Dude, perfect. By the way, we made an episode on this topic, so don't forget to check it out. And now I'll show you what other elements our scripts are comprised of. Let's take the script for today's episode as an example. The text in our scripts is divided into scenes, small fragments that are easy for the hosts to memorize. Each scene has its own number. It guarantees that we don't lose any fragments of text while shooting. All the scenes are joined in blocks with specific names that we borrowed from broadcast journalism. And here are the types of these blocks. Stand-up – for the scenes shot in our studio. Although it's called a stand-up, our hosts usually sit. Introduction and conclusion are usually parts of a stand-up. The camera and the position of the host are fixed. Live shot – for more dynamic scenes in any other location, like the one we're in now. We use live shots to show examples and backstage scenes. The camera can be fixed or it can move freely. And the same is right for the host. Voiceover – for the demonstration of some other people's videos or screencasts with software interface. We usually record the voiceover in a special room. We also often leave notes to ourselves in the scripts. Don't hesitate to do the same. Leave notes about the location, recommendations on shooting and editing, anything that can help you make your video better and that can be so easily forgotten if you don't write it down. In our episodes about 2D animation and transitions and splices, we tried to show you how essential it is to have a well-written script. It would be almost impossible to create such videos without proper instructions left in the script for the cameraman and the host. Ok, we're done with the structure, let's say a few words about the content. To begin with, make up your mind about the topic of the video and narrow it down to one sentence. When you're writing the text, stick to the topic and don't drift away from it. Write out all the information you want to deliver in short sentences first. It'll be easier to develop them into logically connected passages afterwards. Reread the script sometime after you have finished it. Better, read it out loud. Even better, give it to your friends. 
If some parts seem to you too long and boring, don't hesitate to shorten them or remove them completely. Finally, leave room for improvisation. The script is the law, but don't let it stand in the way of your creative personality. Remember that the script is your safety airbag and your life buoy. You can always rely on it. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to stay tuned. And tell us in the comments about your experience with writing scripts. I'm looking forward to reading them. See you later!